I am responsible for Logitech's India business. I joined Logitech about two years back to run the enterprise business. And then you may be aware that uh, the company took a decision to merge the enterprise and consumer businesses in India about a uh, quarter ago. So it's it's that new role that I am playing as of now. I am leading the marketing for uh, Logitech India on the consumer space. So yeah, so when, the, when we say consumer space, anything which comes under uh, what you call, you have heard in product about gaming or personal workspace or streamers and creators. Yeah, this is what we call as consumer space. Right. Uh, so the first question I have is regarding, so we're talking about, uh, normally when you think of Logitech, so there are two, you've got two categories. You've got the gamers and now you've got the uh, professional consumers or professional workers. Uh, and obviously me coming from a gaming background, I'm familiar with the lineup of gaming mice, etc., etc. So giving like as for some insight into the professional work so like what are the key challenges that working professionals typically encounter like in their daily work how does uh, logitech aim to work on these challenges through its offerings let me take that question uh, manish so like i mentioned uh, the company took a decision to merge the enterprise and consumer businesses in india and one of the key reasons for that is actually to make it easy for customers irrespective of which category they belong to, to do business with Logitech. Because as you know, and I was told that personally you are a, a user of Logitech and you have experience with many of our products, I'm sure you can relate to it. Uh, customers use uh, Logitech products from both categories, right? the consumer category as well as the enterprise solutions. So this was one of the prime reasons why we came together in India. So when you talk about the IT professionals, uh, if there was one kind of stress before the pandemic, there is a different kind of stress for them post pandemic because before pandemic, people hardly used to find time because most of that used to get consumed in commute irrespective of the cities that people were living in. And uh, within the limited time that they had, they had so much to do, which means they needed tools to be productive in the limited time that they had available at their disposal. Now, post pandemic, it's a different kind of challenge that they have. So while maybe they are saving on commute on those days that they are not traveling to work, during those days when they are working from home, they probably are using a different uh, set of, uh, let's say, solutions at home because this is not exactly the office environment, right? So what we are trying to do as Logitech is trying to make the experience as much as possible seamless, irrespective of where they are working from. Now, in the hybrid world, people say work from office or work from home, but in our world, we can actually have work happening anywhere. It could be a hotel room, it could be uh, you know, a relative's house, it could be just parking your car on the side of the road and doing a set of things because something is urgent. So work happens literally anywhere. And uh, our focus has always been to make it easy for people to use tools and we continue to do that. So the set of solutions that we are uh, targeting at the working professionals are more centered around, uh, you know, seamless connectivity, better battery life, ease of use. Uh, you know, you don't need training for some of these things. You, it's so intuitive, you can just plug and play, right? And uh, we'll talk about other things as well, but these are the focus areas. And finally, because the work is also distributed, uh, there is a necessity for people who provide these tools for employees to be able to also easily manage them. So even though traditionally Logitech has been a hardware products company, we are slowly making software for people to also remote manage these solutions that we provide working professionals. So that's where we are, Manish. So, uh, like you rightly said, people have been transitioning from working in an office environment to working in a home environment and now transitioning between the two working environments. Can you give us examples of what Logitech as a brand that you have done, like uh, what you have researched in your target audience where uh, challenges that specifically Logitech aims to like solve? with an example uh, some and uh, just what anand said the kind of working environment where uh, today's professionals are whether it's uh, a multi device because if you look at from uh, any professional they may be using a tablet a laptop and same laptop could be a different os also it could be a chromebook could be a, a surface or a mac os similarly they may be also on a multiple desk 
like what Anand said, it could be any any desk, whether if it's a professional desk or your uh, office, uh, sorry, your home desk. Now, what challenges comes in? Uh, when you have multiple devices, multi OS, multi desk scenario, you need a single device which can seamlessly move between any of that part. For example, uh, we have product called MX, which address to this process. Like you, it's a very small form factor product called MX Mini, which you can move out from your professional desk to your home, which is maybe a space con constraint design, or you are a minimalist person. So you have a product which has all these features built in. You can move, just press on one button, you can move from one OS to another OS, or one device to another device. You can also have some as specific customization, because today's professionals, if they're working on an MS Excel, or say a Zoom call, like what we are having right now, this keyboard can, mm -hmm actually have those functions built in like right now when i'm talking to my keyboard will have the mute button and the rest of the zoom controls on my keyboard and my mouse when i move to an excel i, I want some scrolling options like horizontal scrolling which is quite uh, normal scroll you have seen if the screen goes up and down but big big sheets you need to go left and right so that just takes over so those app specific customization comes in but idea is to automate all your repetitive tasks so when you when your repetitive task gets automated, your life becomes much easier. You don't have to look for one button there, one button here. Similarly, when other than keyboard mouse, let's look at the headset because in this environment where they are working, it's generally people look for clutter-free environment. They don't want wires. Now you have a wireless headset which we just launched called Zone Y100. Now that has something a simple, unique, intuitive function like just flip to mute. Now instead of looking for a mouse and muting my I just, if I'm using headset, just flip the mic, uh, mic, boom mic, and just, it just mutes out. It has also, because it's wireless, or a lot of products of ours are wireless, then the second thing comes in, what's the char life of, say, this headset? So, one, on, on a single charge. So, on a single charge, it works for 20 hours. Even, let's assume it's not charged. You charge it for five minutes, and it's ready for one hour, for one hour of work. So, these are a lot of small, small things, but when you add up in one single device and come, come and uh, software which seamlessly combine all these things and shows that all those small, small challenges and the seamless things what they look for is available. One important thing I forgot to mention is you are seeing me through a camera called Brio. So we have launched a range of webcam called Brio webcams. This is a model called Brio 500. Now this has an auto image correction, which is AI based actually. It has, uh, I'm talking to you on using its mic. I'm not using any mic, but the Brio's, Brio's mic, which I hope is very clear to you. It auto frames. That means I can I can move this table back and forth, or to left and right. It just auto frames me in this zoo, in this place. Or if I move here and there, it just auto frames myself. So these are the texts which consumers really appreciate because these are something which, uh, as uh, as a challenge, when they move into uh, a life which was full of video calls, suddenly they need a wireless clutter free thing. They want something a video which is very clear. Uh, but frankly, uh, even the best of the best laptops doesn't have good cameras. So that's where these kind of uh, devices helps them to ensure yeah. that when they talk to each other, the lifelike way of talking comes in picture, so whether it's voice, whether it's video. So these are a few things which uh, we have, re uh, I just explained. So we have our MX range, we have our signature range, which has all these multi-device, multi device multi capability. We have our headsets and webcams, which seamlessly combined into a Logitech's own software, which Anand was talking about. And yes, uh, it gives that seamless experience. For example, the headsets can, headsets can move from your laptop to your mobile, just with, because of that software. So these are some of, the, some of the examples. I can talk lots and lots of them. In fact, I'm, I'm wearing one of them. The headset that I'm wearing is actually a multi-device headset. And this is specifically aimed at uh, working professionals because uh, just like Rupak mentioned, this this meeting is an example. This meeting is happening on the computer because we are using a cloud software called Zoom. The same meeting, if it was just happening on our mobile phones, uh, the same one and a half, two hours meeting, I'm sure all, any of us will find it inconvenient to hold a phone. So this headset actually connects to both the computer uh, software as well as through Bluetooth to the mobile. So calls coming in from either of these devices could come to this headset and we can have a you know seamless meeting experience. So that's what we are uh, focusing on. Multi-device so that the working professional feels comfortable. 
so like speaking of the working professional right so like everything even uh, the roles of working professionals is constantly evolving so how does logitech actually keep up with the changing demands of professionals and adapt its offerings i'll take that question again uh, manish uh, actually as a product company there are uh, a few key things right irrespective of the roles people play what they expect from a computer peripheral of or a meeting uh, gear uh, i think does not change much right so if i look at the top requirements of people uh, i can say first up there is ergonomics because today irrespective of the role people are playing they are spending a lot of time in front of the computer in front of the screen they are they are either in meetings or developing content or uh, we spoke about streamers they are actually live streaming uh, content uh, to their audience people are spending a lot of time in front of computers which means what they use to be able to get work done in the first place has to be comfortable ergonomics and thanks to uh you know multinational corporations as a as a topic i think this is gaining importance ergonomics and logitech has always been at the forefront of innovation when it comes to these things we were probably the only company at some point of time to make a split keyboard because uh, we i mean the hand uh, position when you keep it on a table is not straight right it's it's different so we made a keyboard that follows the natural position of the hands when you work on a table right now we are introducing flavors of this ergonomic uh, keyboard right and there are multiple models of that available for people to look at second uh, rupak spoke about it nobody has time in this world right everybody wants things done as of yesterday and uh, you know there is no exception uh, irrespective of the roles people play again in uh, organizations or independently as business people so what we are focusing on is like i mentioned faster connectivity slash ease of use people don't have time to download software make it talk to the hardware that they just uh, bought uh, you know from somebody and face issues call customer support nobody has time for all this right so when you when you pick up a product off the shelf uh, when you connect it to your device your expectation is it just works seamlessly and that's always been the mantra for logitech right uh, plug and play and uh, when we say plug and play we literally mean plug and play even the even some of the most sophisticated uh, solutions that we have it comes with a let's say a usb dongle you plug it into your uh, computer and then by the time you realize it's it's already auto paired and handshake is established and it's ready to use so second most important uh, requirement from uh, people has been uh, simple uh, you know and effective devices and that's what uh, we have been focusing on and why we are doing all this manish i think as a company uh, we also realized that uh, uh, we could do something better in terms of our social responsibilities right so these are all hardware products made out of plastic and we realized that uh, you know it can potentially leave a footprint on the planet so as a as a signatory to the climate pledge logitech is also embarked on a very uh what to say conscious exercise of making sure that uh, uh, almost all of our products not almost actually we have already reached the stage of every single product is actually carbon neutral today in logitech right and we have started publishing the carbon uh, labels on most of our products and you will see us doing many more things on this uh, topic so uh, even though this is not necessarily an ask from the market this is an initiative that uh, we have taken it upon ourselves to ensure that we leave a better planet for our uh, future generations so these are some of the things that come to my mind uh, uh, manish that uh, people should pay attention to and uh, this is how we are actually catering to some of the explicit requirements that they have mentioned to us so like speaking of sustainability like you just brought up uh, can you share like some specific Uh, initiatives that you've undertaken which reduce like logitech's overall environmental impact yeah so we have done many things uh, manish thanks for asking great question uh, we have done many things for example uh, you may be aware that as a company we ship something close to 3 million products in a single week right and most of these products are made of plastic just imagine the kind of impact it will have if we were not responsible so one of the primary things that we are doing today is uh, 
like I said, every single product that comes out of any factory of Logitech today is uh, carbon neutral. Second, we have started publishing the uh, statistics on most of the packaging and the packaging itself has undergone a transformation. So if you look at some of our latest uh, products uh, where you can see the product through the packaging, uh, what we call as the hang tabs earlier used to be plastic because people keep pulling out and putting things back on the rack. So it had to be durable, but we still figured a way. So we replaced this particular hang tag and it's not small volume. In our case, across product, it was like 7.6 million you know, hand tabs that we are now making with paper pulp. So we have gotten rid of the plastic, right? And similarly, the products inside our packaging, most of them used to come in, uh, you know, plastic bags because uh, it, it goes through uh, different stages of uh, logistics, right? And then different temperatures and all that. But we have figured out, we have figured out all of that. So we have replaced 29 million uh, plastic bags with uh, sustainable material now, right? And uh, we are doing other things like reusing plastic, right? Post-consumer recycling plastic for making most of our products today. And the interesting part, Manish, here is we don't really, uh, you know, we are not very particular about where the pro plastic that we want to recycle comes from. It can be a Logitech product. It can be any other product also. Fundamentally, we are looking at just using recycling plastic. And some of our latest offerings have as high as 40 plus percentage of recycled plastic um, in the new product. So like this, we are doing many, many things. And uh, you will see us uh, you know, taking uh, more steps in future to be a responsible corporate citizen. That sounds fantastic. So, like, uh, coming back to professionals, uh, uh, like you had mentioned, right, like even this call, for example, it's on the cloud, people are constantly shifting between devices. So, there is a lot more emphasis on remote work as well, since people are constantly working from home or from on the move, whatever it is. So, there is also now the question of cyber security. So, like, how does Logitech ensure that its peripherals remain reliable and secure across all these different work environments like can you talk of some some measures that logitech takes to ensure data protection rupak's favorite topic is a phd <laughs> so <I'll> let him <laughs> speak <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Manish, so yes uh, i think uh, it's been i will say almost a year now we introduced a technology called bolt so bolt is a quite a cutting edge uh, wireless protocol what we use Especially engineered, engineered to meet the rising demand of enterprise, but they have the highest security expectation. And yes, uh, when we are on wireless, uh, then yes, there is always uh, an interference or a hacking or whatever uh, vulnerability it can bring in. We need to address to it and both and both address all that issue. So we adhere to a standard which is called a FIP standard, which is a U.S. Federal Information Processing standard accepted by uh, even by Canadian government and European Union. So yes, we use that and it combines three technologies. So it has a Bluetooth low energy BLE. The generally BLE technology is called security mode one. Then you have a security level four, which is a FIP standard, which is the US standard, plus Logitech's own proprietary security features, which you added here. So yeah, rest assured, this brings in that uh, advanced encryption standard between the device and the computer. And when a message is passed, is fully encrypted, and it can only talk to the device and the computer, nothing else. Advantage also that it doesn't, uh, it removes the uh, Wi-Fi interference altogether. So it has that immunity to Wi-Fi fully. And because of this uh, technology standard, we have also ensured the pairing is the fastest ever. So generally, a device takes more than two to three seconds to pair in wireless. Ours pairs in 300 milliseconds. So that's the kind of speed it pairs quickly. And uh, with any OSC, it works. So it has, it, it been six, I would say it's been more than three quarters now. Uh, most of our developers now say Set MX fix. or our uh, newly so introduced uh, studio series or our uh, signature series in, uh, works on this standard, the whole series. Okay, so clearly, uh, Cybersecurity is something that you guys have considered. Uh, yes. So, like, uh, 
we see Logitech is a brand that caters to both gamers and professionals and uh, especially during the pandemic and now post the pandemic we've seen a convergence of professionals and gamers since professionals had more time they started venturing into gaming so we could say that there has been an overall increase in the popularity of gaming so i think this is something the logitech already does but uh, do you think we are going to start seeing more of a convergence of gaming and traditional peripherals like similar to what we are seeing with gaming laptops like a lot of gaming laptops before used to have this very specific gamer aesthetic but now not so much right it's you want a laptop that you can also be able to take to work and it should still look normal in a professional setting so is there something that logitech is doing in this particular aspect manish if you look at uh, yeah you are right when you say the coders who code in the daytime possibly play in the night you are right and they they need performance either way so from gaming laptops perspective it fits both side it, the performance what they need is there in the gaming laptop though it may have additional hardware or graphic cards and maybe make it little bulkier than the productivity ones but yes it can do the job seamlessly and very efficiently but coming to any of the uh, product line which is especially keyboard and mouse uh, a gaming mouse or a gaming headset uh, are designed specifically for certain the way a gamers play the kind of ergonomics they use kind of speed they need so yes the same device can be used for productivity but a productive product creator product cannot be yeah, used for gaming let, let me give an example of keyboard now keyboards generally you being a gamer knows it needs those anti ghosting keys which may not be a feature required in the productivity side so the reverse will always be a uh, scenario where you, uh, if you if you try to use a normal keyboard mouse for gaming it will have its uh, disadvantages but your yeah, gaming keyboard can be used for productivity related product same with mice yeah a pro, a pro mice like ours called pro x super light uh, which is uh, quite lightweight and the the whole idea is that yes you have uh fast movement you have those uh, keys which responds fast because of the speed with which you play but on the other side you need multiple keys which has to which which is designed for specific uh, actions what you want to work on so there is a difference in the user types so possibly the convergence is from gaming to traditional is possible for traditional ones to be used in gaming uh, because of the fact that uh, the design and the type uh, tech tech what goes in the traditional peripherals is very different and uh, Uh, but yeah i want to highlight one thing both side what we use is a cutting edge technology but based on the usage the convergence i don't see in uh, keyboard and mice it's possible in headsets because um, if you are a casual gamer yes you can use your headsets a wireless headset on either side because both comes with a 40 mm driver but yeah if you are looking for a very specific game related headset then you need a 50 mm driver 7.1 rich sound so then yes it's a very different uh, tech in the pros side so i don't see much of convergence currently but yes it can be used right. uh so clearly you've got uh, products that cater to both sides and you guys obviously must be doing so like what in what ways does logitech you've got professionals on either side who i'm guessing you guys probably work with to research and develop the new stuff that you're coming out with so in what ways do you collaborate with these professionals to understand what it is that their current needs are and like how do you incorporate their feedback into like the development of new products be it a gamer uh, or a professional yeah great great question manish uh, as a product company whatever you are seeing uh, in our portfolio today at some point of time was probably an ask from a customer right it was going to solve a problem of a customer so we do new product development uh, in multiple ways in terms of gathering feedback from the market like most uh, product companies we also participate in uh, industry events we conduct events ourselves we invite customers gamers streamers to some of those events that we uh you know exclusively curate for them uh among many objectives one of the objectives is also to get feedback from them on uh, their experience right so these are great opportunities for us to hear first hand from them what they like what they would like to see the future versions etc and that's how most uh, features that we have in our current products made their way 
back to the engineering team as inputs from the uh, you know product managers and that's how the uh, features got embedded into the product so as a product company we have been doing this for a very long time we continue to do that so after the enterprise business uh, foray of logitech our direct customer engagement i think has just got bumped up a uh, lot more uh, earlier it was probably restricted to categories of professionals like gamers coders programmers streamers uh, and other professionals it was not i mean it was probably limited to that now because of the enterprise business we are across verticals across cities we are working through partners they bring us feedback we of course have always been working through channel uh, you know like distributors and others they get us feedback and then like i said our direct customer engagement also gives us feedback so there are a lot of inputs manish that are coming in from different sources of course uh, we look at what can be practically possible for us to implement in the near course and uh, we give feedback we give feedback to our engineering teams and they take what is uh, priority uh, if the whole world asks for it obviously that will be taken as a priority and it will find its way uh, some of the technologies that uh, rupak spoke about uh, ble for instance uh, because almost everything is wireless today and the people have limited ports on their laptops they wanted uh, you know devices that can uh, uh, connect to multiple uh, computers at the same time so that the consumption of battery the consumption of the number of ports you know can be limited these were all feedback that came from the market and today they are available as a functionalities in uh, logitech portfolio so we will continue to do that without of course losing our focus as an organization on while developing these new products keep them easy to use keep them ergonomic and uh, make them lighter on the planet so these three key messages you will find uh, across any logitech product but uh, yes this is how we take feedback from the market manish uh so i think uh, one more question before we wrap this up uh looking ahead uh, can you like is there anything that you can reveal any exciting new innovations that we can expect from logitech in the near future um see uh, there are i mean if you look at from a business we are in uh, obviously consumers look for both for a lot of exciting products from us and uh, almost every four months or five months we do introduce a lot of product lines now uh, i cannot tell the product name but yes we intend to bring in some exciting products under gaming and for streamers and creators in near future so as it comes in as yes, we will keep you updated and uh, be sure to have your viewers on the same great uh, if i can if i can just add one more point please, please. Uh, uh, so i'm sure when you are going to convert this meeting into something that you can publish you are probably going to hear the recording of this meeting uh, you will notice that i i i could uh, realize and feel that you were actually making notes on your computer i am of a different generation i write i think you are typing correct if i'm not wrong yeah. and when you hear the recording of this meeting you will actually hear the sound of your uh, you know keyboard which is probably got recorded so just for your information logitech recently launched uh, a silent keyboard and a silent mouse so you should probably try it for your meetings and uh, <laughs> yeah next time you can give us your feedback so oh, i've, I've this, actually already tried it <laughs> you already tried it maybe yes. you should use it because yeah. i'm sure you're going to hear that uh, when you play back this recording yeah i should actually yeah, i should actually so, i think something which uh, possibly manish uh, yeah you have tried it and we have seen consumers accepting that in big way so right. most of the new launches like ms keys as and all are very much as silent and i think uh, you feel the difference when you're working alone and possibly in the late time or in the environment which is honestly quite, rupa uh, i when yeah. when this was launched i also felt what's so great about a uh, keyboard being silent i mean i never thought a keyboard can actually make so much noise that it can be prominent okay until yeah. today's meeting when everything was silent and i could hear uh, manish actually typing so i think probably for these kind of meetings it makes uh, so much of a difference so, so whether it's working alone or whether you're in a, say in a office environment silent mm-hmm. helps but even click off a mouse yeah when 100 people are typing at the same time like like you do hackathons 
Yeah. When 100 people uh, in a hackathon are, you know, coding, coding, coding. Yeah, I think uh, that's when it makes so much of a difference. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it definitely makes a difference. You may not, like, initially you may not realize it because in our office, uh, since the majority of the edit- editorial here is also all gamers. So most of oh, us yeah. have mechanical keys. And then when everyone is playing at the same time, it's just uh, clack, 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 clack. <laughs> but most of yeah. us are not really that concerned. But then again, uh, once you actually switch to silent keys, you can see the benefits of it in certain environments. And so, so, like, definitely you can tell that, yes, there is a use case for this. Like, you can see why people... I, I think there are also this. people, the, uh, ones who use mechanical, those are the people who actually wa- uh, look forward to that... Uh, the key going down that feel yes yes the, the sound of that key right uh, the, i'm sure mm-hmm. there are people that's yeah, why we, we it, make it those, is right? it is satisfying yes yeah, yeah, satisfying. i can yeah, i can vouch right. for that <laughs> yes <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much thank you thank you so much thank you so much, yeah. thank you so much. Yeah.